Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program on Wings. You might wonder why I'm here at the launch pad and ready to go to launch this interplanetary stage. Well, I will explain this to you because we have gone a little bit further in time. As you can see up here is Sirius, our Joule mission. Uh, it's followed by the Joule supply mission. So both missions have left Kerbin and they're um, about halfway up to the orbit of Duner. Our both Duner missions, the Duner constellation and the Duner supply missions have also left Kerbin a little bit further away and they are on their way up to yeah, up to Duner. So they are making a little bit progress. So a little bit uh, things have changed since the last episode. Around there we were maybe around here. So both um, or all the missions were pretty close to each other. And I think the Jewel or the Duner supply haven't even left the sphere of influence of Kerbin. But um, as we went through the time, we suddenly discovered that we have a good launch opportunity for ELU. So yeah, I like to aim for ELU. I'm not quite sure if this is a good idea because ELU is currently at the most outer part or I'm not sure at which point I will arrive there. So uh, we will aim for ELU for today. And this is why I will launch uh, right now the interplanetary stage. And afterwards, I've already prepared the the capsule for for Elo as a little lander will follow closely afterwards, and then we will uh, propel ourselves onto a trajectory out to Elo. But at first, we need to have our um, trans um, our trans stage in orbit. So three, two, one, and lift off. Okay, here we go again. Or here we go for the first time in this episode. As I said, I like to fly up to Elu, and that's why I'm launching this um, the stage here. It's basically the I think it's basically the dual supply configuration. So um, and because it has the docking port on top, I can dock my um, Elu lander to it, and hopefully it will have enough fuel in it so that we can uh, fly up to Elu and also return back to Kerbin. But in case that it's not possible, we can on the one hand launch a rescue mission up to Elu, or if um, this is not an option, I have this time remembered to put on er, an antenna onto my Elu lander, so we are well prepared, and I hope we can get some signs from Elu. But on the other hand, the travel time up to Elu is pretty long. I've looked up in the er, charge how long it takes. I'm quite sure. I think it was about a year or so until we reach Elu. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is correct or if I remember correctly, but I think it's about a year in Kerbal Space Program. So I think we have done most of all the other missions, uh, like the Duna mission and okay, not maybe the Jewel mission because Jewel is pretty far away as well. But I think we have done a lot of different things until we, we reach Elu, so this is a very long travel time, but I like to do this and that's why I'm currently launching this mission and well uh, this time I think, I'm not quite sure, I think we will follow the, the whole launch because, um, or, well because I don't have really to, to focus on on anything, I don't have to rendezvous the thing to a station or I have to insert it immediately into orbit, so I think we will just follow it, the, the whole launch process. Additionally, uh, what I'm hoping for is that we can in a short amount of time see the sun, because I think we are uh, short before the sunrise, and this should mean that we s uh, should bath in a short amount of time in the sun, which uh, is hopefully really cool looking, because I like these. Um, launches when we are heading east and when suddenly the sun pops up and the sun rises above Kerbin. This is uh, often so beautiful and I like to share this with you. And also I like to demonstrate a little bit the, the process of um, how I prepare my missions. Well, I've uh, shown you in the last episode or during the whole career session or what it takes and I've mostly um, then brought you back in as as soon as new exciting things has happened. But in this case, I really like to focus more or, or to, to show you the complete planning of, um, of my mission. 
but uh, well don't be afraid I don't want to uh, show you the whole uh, burn up to Elu because I think this will take a lot of time using only one nuclear rocket engine so I think this would be uh, the main part I will cut out because this will really take a long time I'm not quite sure I think I have to sit here for maybe 10 minutes or so I, I'm not quite sure we will find this out when we are doing our maneuver and when we are planning our maneuver but um, yeah so uh, exciting things are ahead of us okay and um, yeah we are we are going higher and higher this is pretty good so I can even go closer to the horizon on my nav ball to accelerate even more and let's have a quick check out here I like to uh, have the the rendezvous in around uh, 100 kilometers of altitude or uh, yeah, in an orbit in 100 kilometers above the surface so we need to raise it a little bit more before we uh, will cut our engines and wait for for the thing to go around our whole orbit around Kerbin so we can plan our rendezvous with the lander where here where we want to to dock or with which which we wish no, sorry and we want to dock with the lander to our um our trend stage and finally fly up to Elu. so here yeah. um 70 kilometers 75 it's looking good 80 kilometers come on come on come on 90 and this is good enough okay 101 kilometer let's set here our maneuver node so we have a reference where we can see how far we have to go okay this is pretty amazing so far let's oh i remember this oh no this thing was pretty good controllable okay maybe like this let's first forward a bit and there we have also the sunshine this is amazing okay enough let's turn back to the prograde vector because we want to insert ourselves into an orbit and i have to make sure that this um, lower stage will fall back into the atmosphere and finally disintegrate because we don't want to have space debris as you uh, might know my policy I like to follow uh, on my space missions in KSP and where is our periapsis? now it's there okay let's ditch the stage goodbye and let's fire up the rocket and finally insert ourselves into our orbit I can get rid of this maneuver node I like to see also these numbers and there we go. The periapsis is rising. This is very good. Come on, come on. Okay, the engine is a little bit, little a little bit weak and a little bit underpowered. So that's mostly why it's taking so much time. But currently, it's looking good. The periapsis is increasing. 90 kilometers, 93, 94, 96. Okay, so this is not completely circular, but I think I can live with this. And here, yeah, this lower or down, this, this, this stage has this upper stage has some fuel in it, so I think I will use this fuel before I will ditch this thing. And here. Yeah, Oh, we can we can deploy our uh, solar panels at the moon. The moon, woohoo, moon. Okay, um, solar panels are deployed, so we get some additional energy. And I will meet you again on the launch pad when we launch our Kerbals up into space and when we do the rendezvous with this uh, trend stage. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are, and we are on board with Stronsky and Lumbro, and they will lift off in 3, 2, 1, and lift off. Here we go. 
Okay, this is the launch of our ELO lander and our ELO missions with our two Kerbals on board. Um, up here we have our ELO lander, so this uh, down part here, or this middle section, is our lander. It has the lander can mark 2, it has one science junior, it has two uh, mystery dew containers, and it has one thermometer, one accelerometer, a seismic accelerometer and also one gravioli detector. So it's pretty much good equipped, well equipped. It has also an antenna this time. I'm pretty happy about this that I haven't forgot this to add an antenna to it. And so yeah, now the thing is heading up into space to rendezvous with the run stage that will hopefully uh, propel us to Elu. And also I like to highlight this little thing up here. I have improvised some kind of um, fairing uh, or a protection if you see from from a bird's perspective or from, from on top of the, the rocket. Um, the whole lander is covered be under this, this uh, upper section under this fairing. So it's a little bit of uh, protection from the lander. And I have also the impression it's a little bit more aerodynamic, so I've added this as my improvised fairing. I know there are some mods out there that um, will allow me to use fairings, and um, so I can really use fairings. But as you might know, I'm I like to keep this game as vanilla as possible, and in this case, I'm not really interested in installing mods. So that's why I have improvised the, this fairing, and I'm pretty happy with it uh, because I think well, it looks not so great, but I, I really like this um, that I have something I can ditch during flight and the flying away, and so. Here, I'm pretty happy about this, and now we can have, hopefully in a short amount of time, the sunrise above Kerbin. This would be amazing. I like rocket launches during sunrise. Okay, Jonski and Lambro both are a little bit unhappy right now. They're g oh, oh, they are exp uh, explode my boosters. Oh, and we have now this sunrise. This is amazing. What is this? Elu one debris. How is debris ahead of me? Huh? This is interesting. Okay. I uh, hope uh, I haven't lost anything important from my from my mission, but I think it still looks pretty much intact. So I'm not quite sure what is this debris and why this debris was ahead of me. But yeah, I hope we are we can continue and this wasn't important. So let's climb up to higher altitude to rendezvous with our trend stage. And here the sun is rising and it's looking beautiful to to launch into the sun. Uh, yeah, this is great. This is really great. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned of um, by my lander is the little uh, tiny amount of fuel I have added to the lander. I hope this amount of fuel is uh, enough to land on Elur and to return back into orbit and to finally um, rendezvous with my um, trend stage which will be remaining in orbit. But I thought it's much better to have the, the smaller tank and though the lander is much lighter to save some fuel. But I'm not quite sure if this was the right decision or if in the end Jonski and Lembro will be stranded on the surface, but we will find this out. And now i like to present you the separation of my fairing in 3, 2, 1. There goes my fairing. I think this is, this is pretty cool how this thing is tumbling away. Goodbye fairing, goodbye. And now the docking port is free. Now the lander can be can be seen in its full power and its in its full beauty. Um, let's have a look here. We are pretty much at the same spot as or the same. Okay, the can we forty kilometers? We are a little bit behind. So. I'm raising this a little bit more. Can I get this close enough? No, I don't think so. So I think I need to have at least the periapsis a little bit lower so I can catch up to my 
to my trend stage. Okay, it's a little bit ahead of me, but I think this is okay. So, um, I have added the maneuver node. Oh, this is bad. It's what? It's a huge amount. It's it's bad. I need to find out how I can, uh, in best way, do the rendezvous. Uh, but at first, I need to enter an orbit. So let's turn it first toward the the horizon, and then we can do a short fast forward until our app works. Is. Let's do this. And or like here, very good. Now let's bring ourselves into our orbit. And where is my... And stop. Okay, this is good enough. Now I can say goodbye to this stage. Activate the other engine. Throttle up. Okay, now let's have a look. We are a little bit lower than the trend stage. Maybe can we get here an encounter? This would be pretty amazing. How far can we or how close can we get? Two, okay. 2.5 kilometers, this is amazing. So yeah, around one orbit and we can do our docking. This is, this is great. So, let's first forward this half an hour. Jansky and Lembro are currently happy or smiling. They are enjoying their ride, this is amazing. That they are happy about this and that uh, they are looking forward to, to fly up to Ilu. And can I? No, I can't fast for uh, fast, fast warp faster in in the forward mode than this because I'm too low. Okay, now we are catching up. We are coming closer and closer. This is good. And five minutes for three, two. Okay, let's come to a stop here. I should slow down a bit my approach towards my trend stage. Make sure that I'm getting closer to it. So like this. Now we can fast forward again a bit in time. Now it's a little busy work to get ourselves aligned with the with our target oh I still have this maneuver node going on I should remove this okay let's fly towards it towards our our ship Okay, and whoa, not too close. Now it's time to slow down. Oh, Lembro is really happy. Oh, this is amazing. This is really amazing. Okay, let's slow down a bit. Supply ship. Where at the front of it? I think it's around here. So maybe my approach isn't so bad, I'm currently doing. Four hundred and forty meters, getting closer. And three hundred sixty meters, come on, we want to dock to it. Oh, both guys are smiling. This is nice. This is cute. Okay. 
250 meters and I'm pretty much in the center of this ship so I think I need to uh, fly a little bit over to this direction when I'm performing the docking process. Okay. Hundred hundred thirty meters. Can we speed up it a bit? Yes, we can. Okay, seventy meters is good enough. Let's come to a stop at first. Kill all of our relative velocity. Now let's switch over to docking mode. Turn the whole thing around. Not too far. Not too far. Maybe like oh, a little bit more down, like this. Wait, we need to turn a bit more in this direction. Okay. Oh, and before I start using RCS, I want to make sure that I'm not using the RCS for my lander. Oh, is he using... Yes, he's also using this RCS. Okay. So I need to fill a little bit RCS back in. And come on. Okay, let's break again. Let's kill all of our relative velocity. It's pretty much the, the standard docking maneuver. Oh. Okay, let's. No, no. Let's approach it again a bit closer. And we are almost aligned with our trend stage. Okay, this is pretty amazing. Very good. Oh, I should set this as my target. Now let's turn towards it. Turn toward the docking port. Like this. Okay, very good. Not too fast. Not too fast. Okay, a little bit faster maybe. And slow down a bit. Switch off RCS and SAS, and there we have contact. And oh, I should enable SAS once more. Disable. Okay. There we we made it. We are now at. We have assembled our mission. Now I have to check. There is just a tiny amount missing of RCS fuel. Let's refuel it. Okay, very good. These fuel tanks are full, this is good. This fuel tank, yes, what? Yes, it's full as well, this is good. Okay, I can use a bit of the upper stage to refuel the other upper stage. So I can use this, this fuel a little bit to propel myself onto my trajectory. And now let's decouple this thing. Now you can see almost my lander completely. Switch over to stop the docking. We don't need any more of the stage so we can deorbit it. Let's switch to this orbit view and it's gone. Okay, let's switch back and let's have a quick save to celebrate this. Okay, Jonski and Lembro, he, I hope you are well prepared. I hope you have uh, say goodbye to all your friends because now you will leave Kerbin for a very long time. Let's see, let's see in which direction is... 
we need to start our burn in the nighttime side. Let's scroll full art. Ilu set as target. Okay. No, it's exciting. We need to fly our to Ilu. And Ilu is up around there, so we should Ah uh, Really? Such a long burn, are you sure? Okay, how do we... Oh, I'm a little bit overshooting this. So let's get this thing back in. Okay, do I need to... Huh, how do I need... There is the... The ascending and descending node. If I start doing a change over there, will I then have a rendezvous? Not quite yet. I'm there, and what? No, this is this completely wrong. Okay, so this thing, I think, planning this maneuver will take a lot of time. So I have to, to play around with my maneuver nodes. And I think this is the, the, the most, most boring part ever uh, in watching me playing Kerbal Space Program. So I think I will bring you back in when I have I figured out my orbit and when I start my burn. So stay tuned and wait patiently until I figured out what I need to do. Woohoo! Okay, I finally found the way I like to go. I have added the first maneuver node around Kerbin. It's a pretty large burn with around 2400 meters per second. So I think I'm not doing it the complete and most efficient way, but I figured out how I can encounter with the Edu. And then I have uh, prepared also a next in our burn. The burn will happen then in two days. And with this burn, I will manage to have an encounter with Eve in one year. No, not with Eve, with, with Ilur in one year and 56 days. So, year. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a good way to fly up there. So, I think we can start to do our burn. Currently they are saying the burn will take about 10 minutes, but I'm not quite sure if this is uh, this is really the case. Um, I like to start with this engine. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Um, I need to control from here. Oh yeah, I totally expected this. I hope now not everything is now messed up. I hope everything is still in order. Hopefully. Um, okay, let's search for the maneuver node. Where is it? Around here. So it's estimating a burn of... of 10 minutes. Is this engine activated? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. So, I like to first forward, so we can then do or start our burn. I like to start at five minutes before, or maybe three and a half minutes, or four minutes, or I'm not quite sure, one, when, 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 maybe three and a half minutes, this could be good. Okay, let's stop here, because I need to adjust a little bit. Okay, let's throttle up. Here we go. Um, okay, according to this calculation, I'm doing a burn for about half an hour. Okay.
Okay. And this is even with the... With this engine. This engine... Wait. Can I see? I'm not sure. But I think this engine even has not much more thrust than than the nuclear rocket engine. So, okay, I think this will really take some time. Oh dear, oh dear, okay. This is not good. This is really not good. Um, I think I, as soon as I will cut this engine and stop using this engine or this upper stage, I will switch over to the nuclear rocket engine and then I will uh, bring you back in as soon as the, the burn is finished because I think 26 minutes or so is a pretty large burn and yeah, I'm I think the best way is to, to just skip it for you and I'm not sure what I will do. Maybe I will watch a little bit TV or, or I'm not sure. This is really, really, really a bad thing if you have to do such a long burn and fly up to Elu. So uh, I hope I don't have to launch a rescue mission because this is, this is really a long burn. And yeah. <laughs> Well, at least Jonski and Lembro are really happy about this, and they are enjoying their ride. This is this is good for them. This is amazing for them. But for me, I'm not quite sure if I'm really happy about this because I have more the feeling like, what have I done? Why I'm doing this? This is crazy to to do this. Okay, so the the fuel is going down, and I think at maybe 30 units. I will cut the engines and... Okay, right now let's kill the engine and let's decouple. Goodbye, let's float away. Um, I like to... Um, wait, I don't need this one anymore. Can, can't I? Okay, I like to have this engine here, not this. Okay, and full throttle. Okay, this engine is... Oh, it's even a little bit pow more powerful than the other engine, this is good. Oh no, am I using this fuel once again? Yes, I am, okay. So let's stop this. And before I forget this, let's refuel this tanks, okay. So, I think I have to do a burn. Oh no, I think I have to split the burn uh, for uh, another orbit around Kerbin. So, yeah, um, I will do something else while this thing is doing its burn and I will bring you back in when we are on our way to Ilu. Yeah, um, stay tuned! Okay, we are now in the last minute of our burn up to, Ju uh, up to Ilu. Well, not completely up to Ilu, because I have to do a uh, next burn at the descending node in about two days or so. So um, there's uh, another burn coming up oh, where we finally um, we finally um, change our trim or our orbit a little bit, so that we have an encounter with Ilu. But this, as I said, will happen in two days. So in this case, we can just switch back a little bit and see the beauty of um, Kerbin as we are leaving Kerbin. We are already quite high above Kerbin. We can see a little bit over there the moon. And can we see something else like Mendes or so? I don't think so. So we can just enjoy the, the view as the last seconds are going down. And stop. Okay. So let's get rid of this maneuver node. And here, uh, we are almost at the um, orbit around or from Ilu around the sun. And the next thing is, as I said, coming up in two days is an, a small orbit change. Like maybe at first we need to change our plane that we are in the same plane as, as Ilu. As you can see, we have already a little bit our approach there so we need to play a bit around and what come on we need just to do some minor adjustments and I think Aaron 
Well, okay, um, so it's just uh, some minor configurations and then we have our encounter. As you can see, the, the markings are jumping around, uh, so we are pretty close. So uh, the next burn will come up in two days, but these two days will happen in the next episode. So in this case, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this episode, please do the usual YouTube stuff like um, liking my video, like commenting my video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope I see you again in the next episode when we finish or when we trim our trajectory so we have a correction burn and finally end up at Elu. And here what else will happen i'm not quite sure we will see you and we will find out when we uh, move through the time and when we move on with our flights up to different celestial bodies what will happen there so yeah thank you again and i hope i see you again until then my name is ebby see you